I just received my new G-Box in the mail. This is the updated version of the popular uh, G-Box of the past. It's an Android bass player with uh, compatibility with the Kodiak XBMC media player. So let's take a look at this, see what we got in the box. So we'll get started. Right here is the actual player itself. It is small, maybe a tiny bit bigger than a Roku. I'll, have, I'll compare that in a little bit. So right here is the device. Uh, first of all, it looks sharp. Some of the older models are kind of clunky, especially a lot of Android boxes, the cheaper ones, kind of ugly. My first brush on this, very nice. Uh, let's take a look at back. HDMI port, two USB, um, Ethernet, optical, power, SD memory card on the side there, very nice. Let's take a look down here. Uh, standard power cable, nothing special about that. Um, small box, I like it when they're not very wide this way, allows me to plug them into my power strip easily. Uh, it's nice that they include a HDMI cable, so that's a nice feature, did not expect that for the price. And the remote itself, it's kind of nice that you don't need to put a uh, buy a separate remote, so very basic, but looks very functional remote. So I'm going to test this out now give it a few days and come back and give a full review but my overall impression of the quality of the build is very good uh, a lot of uh, vent ports on the bottom so I don't think heat should be a problem good grips on here won't slide around and looks nice I plan to keep this sitting right on top of my uh, TV stand next to the TV so it's gonna be nice to have a box that isn't well honestly ugly well I'll come back in a little bit and give you my full re impressions and review so I've been using the G-Box now for um, some time. First of all, very impressed with the speed and the looks. The quad-core processor is a huge um, improvement over the older models. Probably the fastest um, Android TV box, XBMC box I have tested or used. Uh, the remote is very nice, very functional, and it's very quick and easy to use. Good range, um, had no problems with anywhere in my living room getting a reception. To test out the plug and play of other uh, remotes and keyboards, I have the i28 here. Uh, I've done a review of this in the past, I'll link to it at the bottom, but very um, pleased with the ease of the plug and play. Sometimes it's nice to have a full keyboard there. So that is an option. Plug and play works great. Everything you expect from Android. Uh, this home screen is very nice. If you get this and you see a different looking home screen or you've seen some other reviews, they recently came out with an update. This is 1.2. To get it, I just went into system settings, check for updates, and there it was. Um, easy to install, easy to download. Uh, there is a 16 gigabit hard drive in here. Uh, so across the top, everything you expect, media player, gallery, uh, movie player, XBMC, Let's open that up real quick. Of course, if you have used XBMC before, you know what to expect. Uh, not really here to do a review of XBMC. Let's kind of take a look at the full app. Um, good browser in here. Oop, I went to the, jumped into the wrong one. So the browser, fully functional, um, looks like Chrome, works like Chrome. Uh, I believe it is Chrome, I'm not really sure. This seems to be a stock version of Android pretty much. Um, underneath everything here. Calculator, clock, downloads, all your basic stuff you expect. Uh, G-Box settings is different than your Android typical settings. So in here you have easy access to your network, your display settings, and so on. Um, you can get to your Android settings by going down to the bottom row, and right here is all your typical Android settings. If you've had it on your phone or on your tablet, you know exactly what you're getting into. Um, it is a full version of Android, or so you will have the Google Play Store in it. Jump along here, right here is Google Play Store. Works great, everything you would want from there. Um, I've tested out a few apps, haven't really had any issues, but I didn't get this to be an Android box. I got this to be a great media center. Uh, very impressed. There is a 16 gigabit hard drive in here, so it can hold a lot. Uh, I really haven't put a lot of videos on here to test it, but it worked well when I did. So overall, I'll give this a nice solid 10 out of 10. Um, 
10 on looks, um, quality, the, it seems to be very well built. Uh, the fact that it includes a nice remote and an HDMI cable for the price is a huge plus. Um, the length of the power cord is nice. Uh, sometimes these boxes, they come with tiny power cords. You almost need an extension cord to get it to reach your wall outlet. So it's nice that they didn't skimp on that. And the ease is very nice. Um, just a good 10-foot uh, user interface. Simple. My wife wouldn't have any problems using this. Uh, so 10 out of 10, no complaints. But I'll be honest, the main reason I got this was XBMC. And that it runs as smooth as can be. Quickly jumps back and forth. The nice thing is they uh, do have a nice back button here. So let me go into like file manager, just show you how nice that is. And right there's the back button. I click on that and it brings me right back. So you don't have to hit the backspace or try to use arrows or anything. Just a very basic, straightforward setup. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.